Okay, so we're gonna use. Um, you guys wanna use the next uh, arena for the uh, for the test to see how it is. Sure. Yeah, yeah, this one, right? Number three. Okay, so I'm going to delete myself. Uh, Zebra, didn't you kill the last monster? Uh. Yeah, but we took a long rest. Oh, yeah, we took a long rest, so you don't have anything. Okay, copy. We're going to delete you guys, and we're going to take you guys over there. So, uh, Zebra, what did you think? Should we do it as two players, or...? Oh, that's what you said yeah. last time. So, um, I, um, I already did, like, I took myself out of the equation. Um, yeah, I mean, sure. Sure. Yeah, we can do it okay. too. Yeah. So another day, um, another day, and we now have 8 a.m. in the morning. Let's stop the music, cause we're gonna go into battle. Bom, 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 bom. Okay. Uh, we are now gonna have uh, how much is it? Two hundred and twenty-five experience. Two hundred and twenty-five experience, maybe stretching to two fifty. So two twenty-five, maybe stretching to two fifty experience of monsters. You gotta tell me exactly if you guys want multiple monsters or if you guys want a single monster and the rest of the experience in uh, uh, smaller monsters what do you think it is? Uh, i think smaller uh, more uh sorry uh, i think a fewer monsters so one strong one so okay. so uh, big monster big monster with smaller ones yeah, what do you think, Sever? Yeah, big monsters. Uh, big monster is better. Okay, let's see here. So we're looking for we're looking for big one and then smaller monsters. Okay, we got a two hundred. I got you guys with a two hundred, and I got you with another with another fifty, giving you guys two fifty. You good with that? Yeah. Yep. Okay, you guys are going to go into the arena, you guys are going to go into the arena, and um, let's, uh, let's zoom you on you guys, uh, however do you want to um, start, um, Zebra are you behind, or Ignis are you in the front, or how are you guys going to go? Uh, probably me in front. Okay. Okay. So, uh, let's move you over here. Okay, and we're gonna move you over there okay let's see here we're gonna open up the turn order we're gonna open up the turn order um, what I want for you is if you guys can see the turn order of this monster do you see the turn order of that monster that I just rolled uh, we wow. see we see it in the chat but we don't see it on the so you don't I, I see the number that it has, but I don't see it in the turn order. So you don't see it in the turn order. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's put the uh, over there, and then we open up this one. Okay. Okay, so the gates go down, the gates go down, and from the distance, from the distance, you guys um, hear that the monsters were already uh, let loose in the arena before you guys. 
So right now, uh, Zebra, uh, you're gonna have to roll me Perception, and Ignis, you're gonna also have to roll me Perception. Let's see you guys if you can figure out the um, monsters. So, Ignis, unfortunately, um, you don't recognize the sound, but Ignis, with your Perception of 15, you recognize two sounds of two different uh, monsters. There, uh, one is a tiger, while the other one is the sounds of a panther. You can hear the sounds of the tiger right in front of you. Uh, let me give you an explosion. So this around over here, do you see the explosion? Uh, in the in the center of the in the center of the uh, in the center of the arena. No, I can't see anything. You don't see the explosion in the center of the arena. No, no. Really, I'm doing explosions with my uh, cursor. Can I move down my character? Uh, no. I think it might be the wall is blocking it. Uh, wait, what? What wall? Because um, you're, you're exactly at the gate. Yeah, but this I think this wall's blocking your uh, my, our vision. No, it doesn't block the vision, because you don't have... Um, there's not any um, stuff. There's no stuff uh, inside. So, uh, do you see now the explosion? It's exactly in front of you. Uh, no, I can't see any explosion. Really? Neither oh. can I. No, okay. Uh, let me switch just a second. Rejoin as a player. Let me rejoin as player. Let me see if there's any issues. If I am a player and I uh, do the explosions, I want to see if uh, you can see them as a uh, as a player. Okay. So I'm gonna do some explosions as a player. Do you see the red circles now? Yeah. So now we you. Do. Okay, so around over there, that was the explosion of the sound, over there. Do you see it now? Yeah. Okay, I don't know why the, you couldn't see it as a DM, probably. That was the tiger. So, Zebra, you heard the tiger coming from over there, the sounds, and we now have sounds of the zebra coming from over there. The panther? Uh, yeah, sorry, not the, the panther. Okay. You understand? Okay. Switching yeah. back to a game master. We now have the sounds of those uh, beasts. Tum, 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 tum. I'm assuming you call it out. So. Okay. So uh, let me switch back. Uh, switching back, we are now gonna go to um, zebra. Zebra, you are now uh, gonna take. You heard the sounds, you now know you're gonna tell Ignis, because he's next to you, the location of the monsters, uh, of the beasts, and you're up. What do you want to do? Uh, hmm. Okay, so I'm going to... Can I use my reaction so that I shoot... Uh, so that I shoot anything other than my allies that, get in my, that gets in my sight? You want to uh, prepare an action. You yeah. want to prepare an action at the sight of the first enemy to shoot yeah. it. Yes, you can do that. Eldritch course. Blast. Yes. Eldritch Blast on the first enemy in sight. Uh, uh -huh. uh, give, yourself, give yourself the icon. Anything the else? Yeah, the turret. Anything else you want to do? Mm, no. Okay, ending the turn, we go to Ignis. Ignis, what do you want to do, bro? I want to move 25 feet to there. Uh, actually, 30 feet to there. So that's square. Uh, let's see. Where did you want? Because uh, I'm going to give you an help. Where did you want uh, to move? So 30 feet here. to there. Okay, 30 feet over there, here's, a, here's an arrow. Uh, bro, put the Thank arrow you. from the center. Put the arrow from yeah. the center, because you're not going to help him. He doesn't know exactly... Oh, okay, yeah, that one knows better. 
as you um, go over there, Ignis, uh, do not move. As you go over yep. there, you see the uh, panther. Let's make the panther visible. Okay. Uh, okay. It okay. is your action. It is your turn. What do you want to do? Um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to... Just, I, I'm gonna just hold my action until it gets in range. Holding an action until it gets range for an attack, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And in your turn, we now go to the Panther. The Panther has specific powers. The Panther has specific powers. Let's read the powers of the Mighty Panther. Um, did I close everything? Okay, so the panther goes here, go over there, and Mr. Tiger, uh, Mr. Tiger, I need your stats. Okay, we're gonna minimize, yo, minimize, okay. We now also have the power of the tiger, okay, but we are gonna go back to the panther, okay. So the panther has like this. The panther knows you're there, he can see you, and we gotta do 20 feet. Uh, boop, boop, boop. If you'd move at least 20 feet. So, over here. If I go from over here. Wait, so if I'm um, 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so that's. 20 in a straight. Okay, what's my speed? Give me my speed. My speed is amazing. Okay, uh, so I gotta be over here, right? You can just zoom to me, because I know you have enough speed, so... Okay. For the sake of speed. Ah, this is enough. Okay, this is yep. enough. The panther does like this. Bam, 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 bam. Boom, 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 boom. And he tries to come towards you to and attack you. Um, yeah. Before anything uh, like that can happen, as you can see over here, the panther. So over here, zebra, uh, zebra's um, trigger pops up. Okay. So. Eldritch Black with a miss. You do not have any reactions anymore. Take out the icon. Ignis, you forgot to add your icon. After you Sorry. did, after you did your uh, your Eldritch Blast, the Panther comes into your range over here, and it triggers your reaction. Uh, what do you do? Attack it. Oh, something bad happened while you tried to slash it with uh, your double-edged uh, barge. Uh, do you know what's going to happen to you? You gotta give me no. a free, free d6 for a tumble. Uh, sorry, not tumble, fumble. My mistake. 11. Let's read. 11... It is just a clumsy miss, and the panther um, uh, scuffs, something like that. And the panther continues his attack on you with a pounce. So, the panther moves uh, towards you, and it hits you with a claw. We're gonna do a claw attack against you. Are you ready? Yep. Miss. It looks like, unfortunately, the attack was a miss. Damn. Yep. Ending the turn of the Panther. Ending the turn. I really wanted. I really wanted to uh, to attack you and put you um, put you down. You know. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we couldn't do that. Um, 
we are now gonna go to the tiger let's um, take out the turn of the tiger the tiger doesn't have so much movement so the tiger is probably gonna be around over here like this 5 10 15 uh, okay 5 10 15 20 with 40 over here with a 60 with a 80 we got 80 over here can you give me an arrow this location yeah. okay thank you okay we now have vision we now have vision on the panther uh, sorry on the uh, tiger we now have a vision on the tiger and the tiger is over there like this coming closer towards you guys and in the turn we now go to zebra we already know <laughs> yep <laughs> I, I was gonna line you up for the panther, but the tiger lined himself up. Yeah, I blast the tiger with my eldritch blast. Do I hit? Um, normally, uh, in five e rules, you got to tell the DM that is the attack that you're gonna use, or oh, yeah, if you eldritch. wanna add anything else, and then the DM is gonna tell you if it's in a hit or not. You guys should remember that last time we uh, battled the tiger, so I'm just gonna tell you exactly what the armor class is. But in the future, please remember that the DM shouldn't tell you the armor class if it's a hit or not. You gotta tell the DM that that's the end of the hit, and then he's oh, okay. gonna tell you if it's uh, a hit or not. Um, we already know that the tiger, uh, from the battle before, uh, the tiger has an AC of 12, and it is a hit. It is a hit uh, pushing the tiger like uh, 5 over this with a 50-50 on the trap. 50-50 on the trap. Select a number, bro. Slash roll 1d2. Select a number. 1. You're 1, so 1 is uh, falling into the trap and taking damage. Unfortunately, wow, God damn it. unfortunately uh, it was 50 50 you know it has like four squares yeah. and the trap is like on, on two of them uh, you push it at, but you did uh, 13 points of damage I think that's the maximum yeah you did maximum damage you are insane max damage on the tiger which was uh, very good you are still left with your movement if you want to go next to ignis or if you want to do uh, something else should i just go here yeah just start running upwards a bit. Yeah, yeah here so i don't maybe here so hmm. here maybe I think, yeah maybe a little bit higher you have 30 like right this. Yeah, I don't want to get in the range of the panther, you know. Uh, I am pretty confident I can kill the panther, so... Oh, so it's maybe... It's the tiger you should worry about. Hmm. You think here or here? Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay. That's 30 feet? Done. Yep. Okay. Ending the turn, we now go to Ignis the dragon. What are you gonna do, bro? I'm going to swing at the panther. No! Yes! <laughs> um, can I use a hero point? Uh, of course. How many do you have left? I have six still. I haven't used any. Oh, you Damn. didn't use any? You're amazing, bro. Not that far. Um, last, last power of uh, your attack is 13. You have nothing else that you can add. So last... Um, the, the full attack is a total of 13 to hit, with a damage of 14, doing maximum damage with the weapon. Yep. So, uh, I can tell you now, the damage was an overkill on the panther. The panther is cut in half by your mighty attack. You are amazing. And right now, you are left with your bonus action and movement. We can delete okay. the panther from the turn order. Go away. Alright, let's go one second. Let me pull this. How far? Is that within attacking range of the tiger? It is, right? 
the tiger has this uh let me see this is the attack of the uh, tiger the tiger has five feet uh, around it if you want to attack the tiger you can be from uh let me see uh this is the line over here over here over here uh yeah, this, i'm gonna go this is the spot i'm gonna go to this square because i don't want a tiger moving um if you can hold it for me uh yeah over here yep perfect um gonna move up to here and i'm going to use uh action surge oh yeah sure giving me yeah another, another attack. attack for five damage i think that's yeah, but that's a two on the dice, so I get to reroll the dice. Um, how how did you roll only the damage? This is so weird because I didn't know you could do. Uh, I can. Yeah, if you do, you know where you click the attack. If you go to yeah. the right, there's the damage type. I can oh, just click the damage type. Oh, you just click the and damage and rerolls only the damage. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. If you want me to rerun the entire attack, no, I can no, do it no, that no. way. No, no, no. This is what what you're doing is even better. I just uh, I forgot that they had this option. I thought that um, uh, when you click it on everything, when you click it on the whole uh, on any type of writing, it just um, uh, uh, rolls a, a full attack. You know, it just doesn't roll like separately, like just damage or just attack. Mm. I didn't know that. I forgot about that. You got a 15 to attack. You got a 15 to attack, minus 11. You are amazing. Um, you are left with nothing. No bonus, no action, no action surge, nothing left. Is that correct? No, I'm not completely out. Okay. Ending the turn, we go to the tiger, and the tiger is going to do one of its powers and you don't know what that is and oh it's the same power uh, okay i don't like being half on spikes in the air so i'm gonna go over here uh there's no way for me to jump or to take any anything so okay i'm gonna go over there so that is a five that is a five over here like this five over here with an attack are you ready oh, oh, yeah sorry. Okay, let's give you a uh, uh, claw attack because I want to use my sounds and I miss. Uh, looks like I'm not using my sounds. <laughs> and in my turn, I go to Zebra and Zebra is gonna kill me. Don't do it! No! Uh, Don't kill my tiger. How do you. Then can I? No. I cannot hit the tiger. What? What do you think, Ignis? Um. I don't know. Is that wall? Is it like a full-on wall, or is it just like a half wall? Uh, that's a wall. A full-on wall. Okay. Uh, um. I think maybe just move just to second. here. Uh, snap and then to... take a shot. No snapping. And if I push him ten feet, he will. So be if you feet. shoot, if you shoot the tiger from that location, he has uh, half cover, something like that. He almost got like half cover. So what do you think? Should I just come here, like on this square, shoot at him, and if I push him back, he will have a fifty-fifty chance? Yeah, and then what you can do is with the rest of your movement after that, you can then move this way. Yeah. And then next turn, if if it does go to the next turn, you can get a better angle. Okay, so I am going to move here then, uh, like this, ten feet, and I'm going to bless the tiger. <gasps> no, 
Tiger took damage minus five, and you have a one and a two. Slash roll one d two. You ready? One. Oh god damn it! <laughs> the tiger is <laughs> agile. The tiger is agile. Woo! And hmm. I am going to move the. Uh, I have twenty more feet, so I'm going to move here. here. Ending the turn, we now go to Ignis. Ignis, what are you doing? I mean, I'm just going to move up five feet. I don't think I have to measure it out. Um, and then, and then I'm just going to take another attack. No one miss. Right in his face. Okay. Oh wait, that's another bad roll. Mm -hmm. So I get to reroll again. Yep. Just in case it's not enough damage. Oh, oh it worked. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Here's how it is. Where it is. Yeah. It Anything? wouldn't have died either way. Anything else? Uh, no, that'll be my turn. Okay, ending the turn, we go to the tiger who doesn't like to uh, fall. And we're gonna go over here with a uh, 5. 10, 15, trying to get the drop on you. Go, Tiger! Go, Tiger! Do a bite attack. Yes! The Hit. Tiger does seven. a bite attack for 7, and I get to use my sound. And he's gonna do a bite in the chainmail. Are you ready? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You scared the life out of my pets. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't know you were on uh, speakers. You should have told me. No, it's I, fine. I could have uh, used no, it's a little bit uh, fine. less volume. They're, they're both just flying down, so it's all good. Ending the turn, we now go to Zebra, who is trying to push me away. The thing is, Zebra, now... I don't think you can anymore. Wait, uh... actually, I, if I... I can shoot well, you can just move a bit more, right? Uh, just get yeah. There isn't, there's no way, cause you're pushing me in, uh, in Ignis. That's the thing. Mm, I am maybe. four, I am four squares. I like, think you're gonna kill. Yeah. But so you can kill him. Yeah, just go for the kill, bro. Just poison, move. poison spray, or Eldritch Blast. What do you think? I think Eldritch Blast, uh, blast is pretty good. And if you miss, you know, you've got your dice. Why you would you use well. poison spray? This is the thing. Why would you use poison spray, which has a damage of... Um, of uh, You got a damage of 1d12 on the poison spray, okay? But if you take a look at the damage of Eldritch Blast, Eldritch Blast has a 1d10 plus 3. Minimum damage yeah, is 4. So there is no way. Why would you use that? Plus, this guy has to roll constitution, and he might succeed against your poison spray. Okay, then I'll just blast him. Yeah. Tiger goes bye-bye, and the tiger goes down. I don't have sounds when a creature dies, unfortunately. I gotta uh, try searching that one. You guys win the combat situation. Good job. Uh, how much was it? 250, right? So yeah. it's uh, yeah. it's 125 experience each plus another um, five golds, five gold pieces each, and it's around 8.30 a.m. Yep. Okay, now at least I need 175 more XP to level up. Two more battles. Yeah, Sorry. it looks, it looks uh, two more battles. One. Yeah. Seven, two, six. Okay, um, yeah. I'm gonna need... 124? Yeah. Uh, short I need rest. a bit more than that. Short rest, guys. Short rest. Yeah, I'm gonna take a short rest quickly. 
uh, 9.35 a.m. in the morning, you guys are um, healed with powers from the short rest. Um, restore the power that you got for a short rest, guys. You gotta um, restore it. Okay. I don't know if it's worth using a hit dive for one HP. No, no, no. <laughs> Probably not. Don't, so. do, don't do that. Um, but I need... I need another 175. Yeah, yeah you no, both right. need the same. You both need the same. So that's two, yeah. two, two arenas. Sorry, I had a different number. You yeah, do you want to just run back two more? You want to you wanna run uh, m multiple monsters or do you still want a big one? What do you think? Big one. Okay. Big one still works in a while. Yeah. I'm scared with multiple monsters because if he brings one with pack tactics <laughs> again, uh, I could be dead very quickly. Okay. So do packed tactics just give monsters advantage if they're next to each other, or do, or what? What do pack? What does pack tactic do? It's uh, advantage as long as there's two people attacking the same target, basically. Oh, okay. So as long as two of them are attacking me, they don't have to flank; they still get advantage. Okay. So. Plus, mm. I think. Yeah, with your Eldritch Blasts, if we can get um, some uh, better one, uh, D, D2 rows, we can get them into the spikes. Yeah. So, I think it works out a bit better for us. Mm, I'm trying to think what could I give you, but I'm kind of running out of uh, creatures of uh, 200. I gotta, I gotta do more and more creatures uh, this guy is only a hundred so I gotta give you guys uh, something of 200 and then I gotta give you a 50 okay let's yeah, give you a 200 you and a 50 a 200 and a 50 you guys ready yeah yep yeah. okay okay you guys are over there Okay, let's see here. We're gonna give you guys a uh, copy paste. Is it working? Yes. And we go to you. Okay. Let's see here what we could do um, let's do let's do both of them okay so we're gonna launch both of them at the same time uh, we're gonna open up initiative the gates are gonna go down do, 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 do. And we're going to select the creatures to oh, go yeah. for initiative. Uh, somebody didn't click themselves. Sorry. Okay. My bad. That's all good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, so um, starting the round, starting the round, we're gonna go over. Um, starting the round, we're gonna go over. Uh, starting the round, we're gonna go over here. The other one is going to. Uh, let's see. Do we make any noises? It looks like this creature doesn't make a lot of uh, noises. And uh, and this one is going to do the same. I'm going to do the same uh, putting this one over here. Ending the turn of the uh, creature, we now go to Zebra. Zebra, um, last turn the creatures were um, last turn the creatures were making um, noises. 
and you could figure out um, those noises with your uh, perception but right now and it didn't uh, cost you an action but right now you didn't hear any noises from those uh, monsters wait one question how, uh, how tall are the walls uh, which one uh, first of all these two um seven feet something like that how much 20 feet seven something like that oh something. seven feet yeah, yeah. okay and how about this one uh which ones these ones uh probably the same because from what i'm seeing they're uh, the same material okay so if, somebody, uh, if something were to fall off of it, it wouldn't take damage down with it? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, okay, I will it's just... Probably like 1d4 damage if, if that were to happen. What do you think, Ignacio? Should I just ready my action in case I see something? Yeah, um, it might be good to just move up a little bit just to like there. So you, you can, um, if you need to, like shoot one of them into the pit. You don't have to. You have enough movement to go all the way if you're here already. Yeah. Although I, I wouldn't be able to see much, you know. Can you? I mean, can you not see around the corners? Oh. Well. I mean, yes. If you just want to move up like five feet or ten feet, that works as well. Just so you can get a little bit of a distance going, so you can maybe like shoot up and down. He, uh... I mean, if I, I come mean, even here just and then feet. I do this, it would work. Yeah, I mean, even ten feet yeah. here works. Yeah, even if I go from like here and then here. Oh yeah, ten feet. Okay, I'll go ten feet, and then I ready my action in case I see. An enemy, I will shoot at it with the Eldritch Bless. Okay. I am good. I'm up. Um, I'm gonna move probably about 15 feet to here. Mm -hmm. Um going to move one at a time. Do I see anything as I'm going? Uh, no. Nope. Not yet. You didn't okay. see anything. Alright, I'm going to move just five more feet. And then I'm going to... Uh, just hold my action in case something gets close, I guess. Okay. Ending the turn. Okay. Ending the turn, you're going to see uh, into the round of the enemy. A uh, giant spider. How can we see it? Uh, Ignis is seeing it. Ignis so saw it. Across, yep. Okay, yeah. You saw it too much. Fine. And ending the turn, we are now going to go to the other one. Uh, the other one... Is going to do this. What's your passive perception, um, Zebra? Ah, uh, yeah, it's a 13. Say that again. Thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah. I cannot see it. Probably. Yeah. Ending the... Uh, uh, probably I moved too much because he's also stealthy. Ending the uh, monster's turn, we now are going to go to um, Zebra. 
Uh, Ignis, you're the only one who saw the monster, and do you want to share the information with the zebra? What did you saw? Yeah, I saw a spider somewhere around here. So, so you saw a Today. spider. That's that's it. You just saw a spider. <laughs> uh, I called it where? Yeah, and did it turn somewhere here? Mm-hmm. From what I saw. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Can you see it? Uh, I'll do an arrow instead. No, I can I was, see it. I, I can it. see the explosion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's all I know. But uh, also the size. That's the most important oh, thing. Oh, yeah, giant. <laughs> <laughs> so remember, remember the name and the size, because that really counts. Okay, so what do you think I should do? Should I... Maybe just hold my action. Um, with the same thing. Oh wait, I forgot to put the sentry. You don't have one anymore, because it's your turn. Yeah, well, I, should I just do that again and then move somewhere else? Mm -hmm. or should I just keep As a DM, uh, I can advise you to stay next to Ignis. If you split up, uh, he down, and you up, uh, probably that's gonna uh, look good. It's not well, gonna look good for you. I'm willing to come up if you want to go like another like 15 feet up, just so you can see all the way across. Like and then, this, and then you would yeah, and, yeah, I'll come up. I'll go like straight up 30 feet. Like this you. turn. So uh, okay. what I'm thinking is, is we stick to the outskirts, and yeah. we just try and get lines of sight on them, and you pick them off from afar until they decide to come closer. Okay, so here. Yeah, that seems good to me. So first of all, I will move here. Do I see something? Uh, where did you move? Right. Just up 15 feet. Okay, go back five. Go down five. Go down five. Oh. Okay. Okay, as you go over there from the distance, you see a spider who was trying to be sneaky. He's not anymore because it's in daylight. So even if he tries to be sneaky, you can really see it. He was not making noise. But uh, right now, you are able to see the spider. It is a uh, giant wolf spider. So you moved 10 feet, uh, and now you see the spider at the distance of 75 feet. What do you do? Should I? I, I think I'll just hit it with the Elvish Blast. You yeah, sure? Go ahead. Okay. Dan's like, you sure you want to kill all my creatures? <laughs> um, it's up to you, but I, I imagine that this AC is probably going to be around 11, maybe 12, maybe even higher. Hmm. So. It's risky, but I mean, you've used quite a few already, haven't you? Yeah, I only have mm -hmm. three more remaining. Yeah, I, I don't mean, think we're in any danger. I mean, a tiger has 12, so this must be lower. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you think so, I don't know the AC, so Should I don't I... think we've got this one, so I don't remember. You know what? No, no. Okay, eight, 8 is not gonna hit it. You selected to okay. use 8 as an attack. 8 is almost the lowest number that you can use to hit something, which is a zombie. and Or an object that's standing still. So that's what you use an 8 to attack. Um, so it doesn't hit. Uh, it's still your turn after moving 10 and doing an action remaining with the 20 movements. What would you like to do? Huh. Should I just keep my grounds for now? Yeah, I'm gonna come up to you, sir. So. Okay. I think we just play it so. I'm just Dun. worried they're gonna come over the middle area, Dun. like climb this way. Dun. So I think if we go up and around, we should be okay. A lot safer. Dun. 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 Okay, Dun. my turn is done. Ending the turn, we now go to Ignis, who just heard you screaming, SPIDERS! What are you gonna do? I'm gonna move 30 feet up. Okay. Uh, let me give you an arrow. Where did you set? 30 feet up over there with the uh, arrow. Um, gonna. I'm just gonna hold my action again. 
if anything comes within my okay. range. Okay, ending the turn, we now go to a new round with the uh, giant spider who is going to start climbing walls. Let's show you guys the uh, spider. We're gonna make him visible. And we're gonna do a um, 5, 10, 15. Let's add another 10. Let's say it's around 20. And uh, how much do you have? Because I forgot. So that's 30 movement. Okay, so that's a total of 60. 5, 10, 15, 25. Uh, da, 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 da. 45. 45, 40 over here on the wall. Yeah, let's say, let's say ending the turn on top of the wall over there, over here, like this. Ending the turn on top of the wall, climbing, and we're gonna end the turn going to the other small spider who has, <gasps> I closed the, uh, why did you close it? Why did you close it? Uh, just a second, because now I gotta open it again. Uh, man. Okay. I closed the sheet for the spider, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Minimize. Okay. The uh, wolfie. The wolfie is gonna go with an 80 movement. The wolfie is gonna go with an 80 movement next to you guys uh, over here. So this is the arrow. Okay. Coming with the wolfie over here, triggering an attack from you guys, and you gotta give me an attack. Give me an attack, uh, a re um, reaction. This well, was yours, this was your reaction. Wait, I wanna think about this. Do you remember how much the chance by that had? No, I'm I do not. Pretty sure it was like 14. As yeah, as a DM, oh. and you guys can look on the um, what's it called on the history. The AC of the spider is 13. You kill it already. Plus, it's gonna take you some time if you uh, want to uh, search for the stats uh, while offline. You know, like outside of the game, because we're using the oh. same stats from uh, 5e. So it has 13. You're using a hero point using the attack to be a successful hit. And you guys are gonna do 13 points of damage, squashing the spider into pieces, unfortunately, for the spider. And now your axe is uh, sticky with the blood of the spider. Yuck. Oh, lovely. Um, we can now delete the spider who unfortunately didn't do anything. Poor guy. Take out your reaction, and we are gonna end the turn of the spider going into the turn of Zebra. Zebra, what are you gonna do? Now, one thing I could do is just shoot this spider off the wall. Why? What did the spider ever do to you? He wanted to be <laughs> friends. He was going to. He was going to make you a um, uh, silk. What can we do with silk? Hang it. I don't know, something like a cloak, a handkerchief, I don't know, whatever you no, want, you know. No, just hang the spider with it. Damn, you're evil. Are you gonna use your Eldritch Blast on it? Because it's on top of the wall. Yeah, I have range to do that. Damn. Uh, okay, I'm going to use my Eldritch Blast on the spider. No! Oh, nice. The spider is in your vision and you blast it on the other side of the wall and poof, goes on the other side. Poor little spider. Why did you do that? Why? You are now left with your um, movement. Mm, do you think that I should... Get a more tactical position or something like that. Uh, yeah, just like another like ten feet up, just so. Ten feet up, like this. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's that seems good. Just slowly move up so uh, you can get a better line of sight. 
Yeah, maybe fifteen. Yeah, sure. Come closer. If you wanna yeah. go, go to me. You're twenty five. Yeah. If you yeah. Want. Come closer. Come closer. Yes. Come closer. Uh Okay. Like. So I think I'm gonna go like around here and just try and stop him like from this. getting like close to you. Yeah, that seems good. If you wanna go all the way back there. Okay. I'm done. Play to your advantage. We have the range. They don't. So. Yeah. I think the DM's gonna start giving us a <laughs> range <laughs> attackers soon. Um Yeah, is that your turn? Yeah. Ending the turn we now go to Ignis. Ignis, what are you gonna do? I think I'm gonna just go probably he you're probably around here, just ten feet up. Nice and easy. Um, and once again, just hold my action to if, when something comes in range. Mm -hmm. I gotta remember exactly what's the ideal with the recharge, because I don't remember. Do you remember what's the um, what's the thing with the recharge for powers? Because sometimes monsters will have a recharge. Uh, it usually says on the sheet, right? It's uh, At the end, it'll say like a 1d4 recharge. And every every turn you'd roll a one d four until so, you eventually so got the recharge back. The idea is that it has recharge five minus six. What is that? I gotta roll a d six okay. and yeah. So you roll a d six, and if you get a five and a six or a five or a six, you get a recharge. Really? Yeah. It's usually how it's done. So. Uh, so, wait. So the maximum is the number of the dice. The maximum is just the number of the dice. And 5 and 6, that means I got 33% chance of recharge every turn. After yep. I use one of the powers. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I didn't remember that. Anyway, going to the spider. The spider is going to summon an army of um, smaller spiders. And it's going to do this. Uh, let's see. Where are you? We're going to go over here. We're going to go over here. We're going to go over here using a... Dash action. Uh, we're gonna go around you to not step on the dead body coming over uh, here. Over here, you, we, I am triggering your attack. Perfect. I give it a swing. Uh, I think I need higher than that. I think I remember it being 14 or 15, so I'm gonna use... Uh, no, sure? no, wait, wait, I think it's a 13, I think it's a 13. I, I, no, the smaller ones are 13, but I'm pretty no, no, sure... No. We, we, we have, we have fought the bigger one before, I think it's a 13. Uh, yeah, sure, alright, if it's 13, I'll go with it. Okay, so 13 to hit with an 8 damage, do you roll the damage again? Oh no, the damage is uh, 5. Um, 13 to hit the spider for a total of 8 damage and the spider turns around um, to you. You did not hit the spider, it was a miss. I did tell you like a reminder the stats of the other uh, creatures. So um, the first ones you get them as bonus but uh, the other ones I'm not gonna tell you anymore. Is that good with you okay. guys? Uh, yes. Yeah. Coming closer to you, take out your reaction. You have no reaction, yeah. and now it is the turn of a uh, zebra. The yeah, AC I... was bigger. The AC was bigger than thirteen. Okay. I'm going to Eldritch bless him. Wait, do. So, if I want to do insight or something to that creature, do I need to use one of my actions, right? Yes. Okay, While so inside of combat. While inside of combat. Okay, I'm going to do an Eldritch Blast on the giant spider then. Yep. 
you do an Eldritch Blast on the spider, uh, pushing it to the walls, that way it's outside of um, melee range with Ignis, and no. minus yeah. 9. Uh, did you no. want to use any other powers? Because I just mm, took no. the damage, I just took the attack. Mm -mm. Okay, That's good. Uh, do you want to move? No. Nope. Oh, okay. And in the turn, we now go to Ignis. Ignis, you got this. Yeah, I'm just you... gonna move up five feet, give it a big old swing. It's in that. I think that kills, right? Are you keeping I can't the really attack? Damage, but... Are you keeping the attack? Yeah. Okay. 18 definitely hits. <laughs> That's correct. I'm going to start asking you guys at the end of your attacks if you are keeping the attack so that way you guys can uh, figure out the uh, armor class and you also are going to learn how to use the uh, hero point. So 6 to attack actually takes down the spider giving you a win of the combat situation also giving That's you right. a 125 experience each plus another 5 gold I said 5 gold each. You guys are amazing. It is around 10 a.m. right now after you won the battle without getting hit. The spiders weren't able to pose a challenge for you. Um, 26 gold now. Perfect. I actually don't need to do a short rest. How are uh, you doing? I mean, I didn't use any of my spells, so technically I don't need a short rest either. Perfect. And I have the shield from the spider, so... Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. We already had the shield, uh, no. bro. We already yeah. had the shield from before. The tiger, yeah. Yeah, yeah so, so you were good. You didn't have any problems. We'll do the same again, DM. Um, if you know, available. Yeah, uh, just a second. We are gonna do a another 250 experience for you guys. 250 experience. Um, if you're struggling to find creatures, you can do maybe like a 100, 150. So be three creatures in total. If you need. Uh, just a second, because I'm calculating uh, some units of heat. Okay, say that again. You want to do a what? If you're struggling to find creatures, you can do a hundred, a hundred and fifty. If that's easier. A mm, hundred. The, the thing is, you guys have two hundred and. Twelve. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, two hundred and twenty-five. We have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus. No, okay, let's yeah, well, if you guys, want to do it, 100, let's give, 100 you, let's give you guys two units. We're gonna give you guys two units because uh, it's better if we are gonna give you two units. We're gonna give you a vision on a creature. I forgot to do this one from last time. You don't need the editing powers because you don't have control. But we're gonna do uh, below uh, with the life and vision like this, and we're gonna do it like that. And uh, what's the life? Wait, what's the life? Okay, we got life over here with. Okay, and we also have an armor class. Copy paste, we are putting over here. And we're gonna have to change the life from above to below. Okay. We're gonna copy and we are now done with the creatures and we're gonna go inside the arena. You guys ready? Yes. Okay. Let's see what you guys can do. Uh, one over here, one over there, and we open the initiative. And as we open the initiative, we select the creatures and we roll initiative for the creatures. Uh, 
uh, we're gonna give you two creatures of a hundred this is creature number one and this is creature number two uh, give me the stuff okay uh, creature creature number two is gonna be selected and we roll initiative with uh, the creature he is the last in order and we are now gonna start with Ignis being the first one to take action what are you gonna do sorry I uh, muted up for a second um, I'm gonna I'm just going to uh, let me bring out my ruler. I'm yeah, just going to move. Oh, my yeah, I'll mark. wait for you, bro. Ooh, the video so. of season three is up. Season three is up, guys. Nice. Season nice. three is now on the Discord. I'm going to move 15 feet up here, DM. Um. I'm just going to move five feet at a time, so you can tell me if I if I see anything, yeah? Okay, one. let's see, where are you? So I just moved one so far. Yeah, I'm going to move um, one more. There's no way for you to even find it, because they moved last and they haven't moved. And for you to have vision yeah, exactly not. over there, where they are, at the start, you're going to be, uh, you have to be around over here somewhere. That's fine. I was just wondering if I see any from here, but no, no it's fine, uh, and I'm just going to end my turn. Uh, uh, oh wait, I'm going to hold an action if they come into range. Okay, uh, holding an action, we mm. go to Zebra. Zebra, what are you doing? Uh, first of all, uh, I, I would want to give you a tip if that's not a problem. Uh, if you don't want us to see the creature or what kind of creature it is, you can no, you roll see initiative it. for them without us knowing what it is. Because we can see what kind of creature we are fighting from the name in the initiative. Ah, yep, 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 yep. Wait a second. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. You're still gonna find it, but. Uh, yeah, this is yeah. just for a little bit of. Yeah, a I gotta surprise. figure out. I gotta figure out how to change all my roles. How to change all my roles for private, and I haven't figured out that out. Where do um, I go, Magnus? Because I gotta uh, do a command. I, I wanna have to be something permanent. You understand me? But unfortunately, there's nothing that I can change uh, to be, uh, to be, um, uh, to be, what's it called? Uh, uh, I think it's, um, I gotta so go, now I gotta go inside. Well, I gotta go inside and roll it to only to the DM. I gotta roll only to the DM. NPC show in roles. Uh, whisper to the GM. Yeah, this is the thing. Uh, I gotta do uh, always whisper roles. Yeah, and now everything that I roll with the uh, with the enemies uh, is gonna be uh, to me. Yeah. So if you want to move like ten or fifteen down, just so you can get line of sight, and then once we find out where the enemies are, we can kind of work from there. 10 feet would be better than 15 because I can, I think I can see better. Yeah, perfect. But if that's with, with 15, I could see a little bit here too, so. Yeah, it's up to you. 10 or 15 yeah. works. Okay, and then, okay. And uh, then just so, hold your action, yes. So, we'll first of all, my, act, uh, I want to hold my action until I see something and then shoot at it. And then I will move 15 feet right here on the square. Mm -hmm. Like this. Now, do I see anything? From over there? I don't think so. Okay, let me put the turret on my character. Because for, I, I took like the um, the um, first the monster for, uh, that's uh, from the ground and it um, hits the wall. As you can see, it hits the wall over here, so your vision is um, obscured. And in okay. your turn over there, we go to the monster, and you're gonna hit one of them. Uh, give me the um, token. You're gonna hit one of them, 
because he's gonna move over there with uh, like this he's gonna do 5 10 and over here you got the vision right yeah you got vision because there's two squares wait I actually yep uh, okay 150 yeah feet. you just yeah. about making you all I, I can I can hit him yeah you're all good okay Are you gonna use 19? Yeah, I'm going to use 19. Okay. So 19 hits. Anything else? Have we fought this thing before? Or did we uh, fight something similar? You did fight. Yeah. Well, Unfortunately, uh, uh, you fight. Uh, you fought exactly uh, this type of uh, monster. It has the same name, so it uh, definitely has the same stats. It just has a different icon. And that's it, because I got two icons for them, and they look the same, but in different positions. That was a 10 movement, and he has, unfortunately, I closed the stats window. Uh, can he go, can he go back one, uh, can he go back five feet? Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay. I uh, think they had, like, an armor class of 18, if I remember correctly. Like, yeah, it was yeah. really high. Uh, yeah, yeah. 10, and we have another 40... Uh, 40 over here, 40 over here, okay, uh, ending the turn of this guy, I gonna go to the other guy who is gonna be visible, okay, to who? Uh, visible for Ignis, okay, uh, we're gonna go with a 60. See, it's the same. It's the same unit. Uh, it looks the same and does the same. Has the same uh, items. Everything is just a different position. That way, we have a little bit of flavor. And yeah, I was just making sure. Yep, it's, it's the same. Remember. Yep, it's the same unit. All right, um, Zebra, what do you want me to do here? I can come down to you, or I could hold him around here. Um, how confident are you that you can take? You can knock number two back enough and slowly chip at him. Mm, I mean, the first one, he he went like, I think they can go forty feet. Uh, he went sixty. Sixty. Um, so it's thirty feet per turn. Okay. And then sixty so... with a dash. So he couldn't reach me even with a dash. Um. So sorry. maybe this one yeah they cannot reach me so i think that you i don't know do whatever you want i don't think that i need defending <laughs> right yeah. <laughs> yeah okay uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna go here 20 feet so, 5 10 15 Uh, I just closed the fucking roll 20, sorry. Oh, damn. It's all good, bro. Oh, why did it close? From what I remember, you said sorry. you did 20 movement. Yeah. Yeah, I think he wants to go here. Yeah, yeah just five more feet. Uh, there, perfect. It's 20 movement. Um, And then I'm just going to hold my action again until he gets into range. And that'll be my turn. Okay, ending the turn, we now go to Zebra again. Okay, so, Agnes, if we are going to be safer if we hit them with spells that require a saving throw. So, uh, yeah. yeah, if you think so. I mean, I don't think that they have much dexterity or constitution, so I think it would be better to hit him with those kind of spells, but because this dude is so far away from me, I think I will hit him with the Eldritch Blast again, this one. Yeah, I think knocking him back could be a little bit helpful, and then yeah. if you okay. want to start moving up, yeah, you okay. can take this guy So, in. Eldritch Blast. Fuck, I moved into his range. Oh well. I missed him, didn't I? 
Uh, are, you using, are you using Yeah, cloak? no, I am not using my hero points or anything. Okay, just... that was a missed attack. Uh, AC oh. of the unit is higher than um, AC of the unit oh. is higher than twelve, and smaller than nineteen. Okay, then I am probably going to come here. No, wait, I want to see something. Yeah, I'm going to... Okay, um, here we go. This is the arrow that you wanted to have. I um, did you the arrow. Ending the turn over there, we now go to defender number one and defender number two. Uh, defender number one has uh, movement to uh, get you to Ignis. We're gonna yep. maximize over here and around 25 feet, you are telling me you have a reaction ready. You got an attack ready, yep. right? The, the bone defender comes closer and closer to you and with your mighty um, double, uh, what was it, double H, double H Bardage. Bardage. you make a swing against the bone Damn defender it. and you have a 7. There's no point adding a 6, the best I can get is 13 and it's uh, still probably not enough. Okay, yeah. um... You use it, your reaction, and the end of the movement for the Bone Defender is next to you. As he gets close to you, he has a, an attack with his Battle Axe against you, and he swings the Battle Axe. Yep. Uh, 22 to hit, and, oh. sev uh, and 22 to hit, and 5 uh, slashing damage. Okay. Um... Yeah, just, you just have to hit him from us, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah, just to let you know, we cannot see. Yeah, yeah, I know, that's why I'm reading. Five, so, 22 yeah. to hit with the 5 slashing damage. And sure. uh, uh, this is the thing when I block, when I block uh, the uh, initiative, uh, I also block everything from the, um, everything from the, uh, what's it called? Um. I also, I also, uh, it goes on whisper, whisper rolls, uh, never whisper rolls, and now save. Okay, now you can see uh, the other thing that I'm gonna do. So five damage, and now we have another uh, power from him. We have a shield bash. Yep, that hits for five more damage. And what do I have to do? Saving for strength, perfect. I make it. Um, take away the five damage. Your turn. Okay. You are the first one in the turn order. I don't really like for you guys to not see my rolls. Well, I mean, maybe the uh, initiative, but the other thing, it looks kind of silly. I mean, I have seen DMs having the uh, the stuff, you know, hidden, because that's how you do it in uh, in person. Yeah. He has like that uh, sheet, you know, uh, that uh, blocks the view of everybody what he's doing over on the other side. And he just tells you if uh, the dice was good or not. But this one is, looks like more normal. Um, we are starting the combat situation with Ignis. What do you want to do? Oh, I start. Oh, perfect. Um, I am going to... I'm going to use Second Winds. Second wing to heal second. yourself as a bonus action and click on it. Update. Uh, I'll click it again. Okay. I might alt tap too fast out. You oh. got a cool. um, eight to eight. heal yourself, which is really good. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's add eight plus eight, and then I'm going to attack once with my double edged. Weapon. Damn, bad roll again. 
perfect damage rise dice, but um I'm going to action surge and do it again. One more attack. Eighteen's oh. a hit. You keeping the eighteen? Uh, yes, I'll keep the 18. Okay. Keeping the 18, we have a 14 to damage. Minus 14 to uh, damage against the Bone Defender. You have only movement remaining. And you are gonna do what? Uh, I think I'm going to stay here. Ending the turn, we now go to Zebra. Zebra, what are you gonna do? Okay, so I only have two options. I either go in this guy's uh, range, and I will only be able sh to shoot him with a disadvantage, or I come into this guy's range and I won't be able to shoot the him, because he will go like this. Um, you can take one attack of opportunity, um, it's probably definitely going to hit you, but with your shield, I, um, you might be able to take the damage. Wait, so... Okay, so first of all, I go here, uh, like this. I take the attack. Uh, then... I use I use Hellish Rebuke, and then I... I use... I, I don't know how reaction works in your turn. Yeah, I don't know exactly. Yeah, after, after I use Hellish Rebuke, can, after I use Hellish Rebuke, uh, after I get hit by him, can yeah. I still my can I still use my spell? Why not? Because you it's a reaction. You use it in reaction. You never use it your action. Reaction oh. is something. Action is something else. You never use it your rea uh, your action. So you, you got uh, all of them. On your turn, you got uh, all of them. You understand? So, uh, yeah. I think that's a good idea. The other option is, before you move quickly, is you can go 10 feet like that and then move away, and then you'd get an attack of opportunity from the top one. So you can do extra damage to the top guy and then yeah. send him into the Yeah, sounds good, sounds good. Actually, this sounds better. So you go here. Okay. And then that, you move that's one ten away. feet, and then I come here. I get hit by that. Um, okay. Let's see what's going to um, happen. Okay, got hit. Now take the damage. I take the damage. Okay, let me do that. Okay. Now. Okay. Now give I me first... a DC strength save. Okay, strength. Uh. Oh, push back five feet. Ah. Uh, Guess where uh, is your location? Do you have any uh, idea where your location is? I got pushed five feet back, so I. You can no wait. You can use before. You can use your um dice. Oh yes. yeah. Can, can yes. I? Yes. You can use your hero point if that's what you, you want. You need a buff of four. But... Well, yeah, but does yeah. that change anything? You don't move. Well, you're gonna get put back into that square. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. Okay, I am yeah. going to use my hero die. You sure you want to use your hero die? Seven plus four, it makes eleven. So do I still get pushed? No, if you have 11, oh. you are um, okay. If you got 11, you are okay because you um, equaled the uh, test. Okay, and that's now exactly I exactly used... what you had to do. So you don't now get I push. use Hellish Rebuke. Yep. Um... Level 1. Okay, he needs to oh. do a DC 13 dexterity check. Dexterity save, yeah. Is that max dice? No. 17. Okay, so he only takes 7. Uh, wait, is that. Is the damage? 7, yes. Okay. Seven seven. That's 7 damage. Yeah. 
Then I, I shoot him with Eldritch Blast. It doesn't hit. Okay. Now. What do I do? I'm kind of cornered. Um, uh, well, since you, he already used his attack of opportunity, you can go 15 feet like that. Yeah, oh, you yeah, can go he back. cannot use his. Yep, okay, you can go back. cannot use his attack twice. So just run So if like, I like... go here, this dude can just go here and hit me. He can, but. Um, I mean, there's not much you can really yeah. do. So I will go then. That. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. I will end my turn. Okay. Ending the turn, we now go to the first bone defender who is going to attack Ignis. You ready, bro? Yep, I'm ready. Miss. Miss. Miss again. That's also a miss. Uh, this is... Okay. Uh, this is a 10 feet of movement and it's gonna do the same. So we're gonna uh, oh. do this. Boop, boop, boop. And a 15, miss. which is a miss, which is... Oh! Uh, three. Uh, unfortunately, boys, an 11 is clumsy miss, and you guys all laugh at the skeletal who just didn't hit its target. That kind of sucks. Oh, I could have, I could have went hey. for behind with advantage. Why didn't I do that? Oh, man. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Uh, you could just hit one of them. Uh, uh, you, you can, I, I can come here. And then because uh, because how DM said about the fire breath, I can just do this. And yeah, then, well, yeah, uh, yeah. I have an idea. I think it would be like the like this, right? Yep. Yeah. Well. Um, yeah, that works. But instead of you having to go next to him. If I, I was thinking if I move up one, I take one attack of opportunity, but yeah. it's not the end of the world. And then you can come to this square and you can get both of them. And if I move up here, I can fire breath both of them down. You could, you could still fire breath both of them. Mm. Yes, it, it would go like, can't you? Or you cannot? I, I don't know how we're doing the diagonals, but. I uh, think no, it should be the other way. Yeah, no, I don't think you can. I think it's like this. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's difficult on diagonal, but... Wait, um, let me, let me... We got a picture on this one. We got a picture on this one of diagonal. Uh, yeah, on tavern. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, you could. You could. Or, no. No, no, no. You, you should... No, unfortunately, no. Here. So I'm I'm just gonna move five feet, DM, uh, taking the attack of opportunity. Okay. Do your worst. Mm, here we go. Uh, that would hit for six damage. Nice. Minus six. And then I'm gonna use my fire breath. To hit both of them. Yep, do it. My breath weapon. Uh, defend the number um, one and number three for the uh, number one and number two. Number one is fifteen. Number two is eleven. Okay. So the second one failed, right? From what yeah. I'm yep. The second one failed, and you did eleven. Eleven minus eleven. While the first one only takes five damage. Yep. And then um, I've only moved five feet. I 
I'm just going to move five more feet, just one more square along, so okay. it doesn't get any ideas to push me. Okay, okay. so now, yeah. Yeah, are you done, Ignis? Yep, that's my turn. Okay, come here, ten feet, and my attack should be like this, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, so I do my burning hands attack. So now we got number um, two. They need to roll. They need to roll a dexterity, a dexterity check of thirteen. Uh, fourteen, right? Yeah. Okay. Dexterity number two. Dexterity number one. Dexterity number uh, two. It is successful, and yes, it is half. It is half. So I should make this one. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have number one. Number one is safe. So that is a uh, six, six. Okay. Minus six. Remember to take out your spell slot. You have only one spell slot remaining because this is the first spell that you use it in the combat. Yeah, okay. You still got movement. Uh, I moved ten feet, so can I? What do you think is where should I move? Just run away from him, I think. Here, maybe? Yeah, I, I use I 10 don't... feet so I can move 20. Yeah, just make some distance. Um, he He's still gonna catch up to me, though. Yeah, um... Should I, should I better go, di uh, like, this way? Yeah, I think going up is better, because then I can catch up quicker. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Okay, and in the turn we now go to the defender number one. Um, you ready? Yep. Let's see if you fall into a pit. Sh should we try to uh, push you into a pit of spikes? What do you think? Oh, if you want to go for it. Mm, I wanted to use I wanted to use a different power that the um, enemy has. The enemy has like a weird power, but you would never let me um, use it. So I'm try I'm gonna try to use it now. Um, or should I just use advantage? I could go for advantage over here, but they're kind of like undead, so that's that's not actually how they should act so let's just attack you from over here because you're still in rage we got an attack with the battle axe which is a 19 and we had a um, shield bash with the other attack missing a missed attack uh, with the shield slash roll 1d oh 3d6 3d6 for a uh, failed and we have a 12 and as a 12 we are now gonna have half of movement unfortunately as it tried to bash you with the shield he kind of broke one of his legs so now this guy has half movement for the rest of the uh, combat it needs to take a short rest to recover Okay, let's calculate. We got a super taunt from uh, Zebra. Zebra, you kind of did like two attacks on me. Um, you are super wounded and you did an attack. Uh, Zebra, pick a number. Zebra? Uh, two. Two. Okay, I'm gonna attack you. Alright, DM. Yep. My range is ten. So he would be leaving my range. So I get an attack of opportunity. Uh, you get an attack of opportunity. Unfortunately, you're attacking through an enemy. You have um, half cover. If that's what you want to sure, do, that I'll is correct. I'll take the chance. Yep, do it. Uh, uh, I'm going to use the dice on that because... Uh, how does half cover work? Is it minus two? 
Uh, yes, it is a plus two to AC. Uh, I'm gonna use a dice on that because I want sixteen. I don't know if that hits. Uh, you got an eighteen to hit. Yeah, minus two. A, a total of eighteen. You got a total of eighteen to hit. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. That hits eighteen. Hits the enemy for a total of. Oh wait. Um. Sorry, I get to reroll the damage. Yes. Come on, be better. Eleven. <laughs> Minus 11. Amazing. Uh, gimme. Okay. Oh. Going over here. Um, yeah, because it, it's um, kind of mindless. Going over here, which is the shorter version to attack Zebra who taunted him. And we are now with an attack against you for a 5 with a shield bash. Did it click? Oh no. A shield bash of a miss. So you only take 5 damage. You kind of wanted to be pushed away there. It's the bad thing. Say that again? Yeah, the, uh, Zebra kind of wants to be pushed away with that shield bash. Because <laughs> then you will be out of range. But, oh well. Oh, yeah, to attack, to use the attack on him and take the damage. Oh, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, I, can, only... I cannot use Hellish Rebuke because I don't have any spell slots anymore. Wait, why don't you have a spell slot? You should have two and you only use it if once. What did you use the other? Oh, you use it. The, yeah, uh, use you use it the power. Yeah, 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 you use yeah. it the burning hand. Yeah. Good. Um, what what did I do with the other skeletal? Did I attack you for four damage? Uh, yeah, you attacked me for four. Uh, yes, okay. and you missed the other uh, attack with a natural one. Uh, That's okay. why he's got a broken arm or leg, whatever. So I only did four. You took the damage, right? Good yes. Damage. Yes. Uh, ending the turn, we go to a new round for you. Um, I don't have anything else I can do, so I'm just gonna. Give him a good old hit and hope it hits. Ah, no dice. Give me a free d6. Um, free d6. Eleven is good. Eleven doesn't happen. Uh, eleven doesn't do anything. Uh, you miss bec uh, with the, the um, weapon. You miss with the weapon uh, hitting his shield, and that's it. Uh, I'm gonna just move down five. Just okay. so uh, he can't push me into the pit, and I'll okay. be my turn. And in the turn we go to Zebra. Zebra, what are you doing? Poison gas, that skeleton. Poison spray it. You want to poison spray a skeleton? Let's see what happens. Actually, hmm. It's a skeleton. It... What do you think, Ignis? Uh, I, I think poison damage should still hurt it. I don't know, though. It could not, although, and I cannot use Eldritch Blast. Um, something that has disadvantage or uh, or something that has um, a Constitution saving throw. Up to you. I I'm pretty sure these are too weak to have um, poison. Resilience or immunity, but I could be wrong. Okay, I'm just going to use the poison spray then. Oh. An action to use poison spray on something which is immune to poison. Good job. I told yeah. you the, the last time you did this, they are immune to the poison. Uh, did you? I thought something else was immune. Yeah, same. They I thought were. it was like a they were. The spider or something. They I were immune. Know. It was actually a discussion who was immune, the spider or the uh, undead. And uh, after you did on the uh, spider, the spider took damage. After you did it on last time on the bone defender, he did not take damage because he was immune. Yeah. You we remember left... the one we ran. Yeah. You are now left with bonus action and movement. You have no bonus action, meaning that you can only take a movement action. Uh, I will go here. 
Okay, ending the turn over there, we now go to the Bone Defender number one, who is going to hit you with a Battle Axe, doing a free damage and a Shield Bash for a 12 missing. The other one is going to uh, attack uh, Zebra. Zebra, you're gonna get hit by a free damage. The attack was successful and the shield bash against you was a failure. Ending the turn, we now go to Ignis with a new round. Um, just gonna do the same thing again, just hit once, hope to hit. 18, I know that hits. For 7 damage, is that? Yes, 7 damage. Minus 7. It's still alive, no! 1. 1. Oh no. Um, I don't have anything else. I used everything. You're gonna stay there? I don't know if we win this. Oh. Um, stay there. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to stay here. Staying there, we go to Zebra. Zebra, what are you gonna do? I'm going to hit the Bone Defender number two with my hand axe. Oh, okay. I have an idea. What's your idea? If you take a attack of opportunity, I don't think it will kill you. That's and then risky. if you come and flank, then you could probably kill number one. That's too risky, though. But it's up to you. Yeah, if you think it's too much risk, I understand. Yeah, I don't know if you still have your uh, inspiration. In case it hits, you might be able to. But... What, okay, what inspiration? To... What inspiration? Oh, cookie. Sorry, cookie, cookie, cookie. It doesn't have a cookie. That's the most, uh... Oh, you don't have a cookie? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to... To hit the bone defender number two with my hand axe. Give me an attack. Um, you keeping 19? Yes. He is unfortunately dead. Well, that's. Oh, you can live on one again. <laughs> I was like, oh no, <laughs> we're so dead if they both live on one. And then should I should I come and flank? What do you think? Um, I don't think it hurts. Because if he takes me down, then he's gonna he's gonna attack you after anyway. Yeah, but, but like if I the flank if you. I if I stay away from him, I could use Eldritch Blast on him. Oh, then yeah, I'd probably stay away, right? Okay. More likely to win that way. Okay, I'm going so to move. Um, move. I'd move because if he takes me down, he got he has thirty feet to follow Maybe. you. Um. I think five. Maybe here. Yeah, something like that. Just make sure you go around the body, yeah? Run! Run! Oh, yeah, wait. Run! You have to go around the body. Like this. Yeah, it's okay. perfect. Okay, go over there. Hold it for you there you go. Ending the turn, we go to the Bone Defender, who is gonna use all his might to try to use a Shield Bash first and then the battle axe. Let's see how it's gonna come out. A shield bash against you, pushing you and hit it's a free. Yep. Take the damage. That I'm not down though. Uh, um, I live see. on one. Let's see what happens. Uh, oh, I get uh, DC here, yeah, sorry, I have to roll. Oh, okay. I'll make ah. it. So you got pushed back, barely alive yourself, pushed back by the shield bash of the... Uh... I've got a 20. Oh, you're not pushed back. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. You only took damage. My mistake. I thought you you failed it. Okay, let's do this, Bone Defender. Don't let me down. And with your final attack with the battle axe, you swing! Yes! And you and put down. him down for the count. Uh, you are dead. now wounded, unconscious on the battlefield, and you uh, um, remember that you're gonna have one level of uh, exhaustion. Uh, oh, I did. Now, yeah. with the rest of the movement, the 
Bone Defender is coming closer and closer for Zebra. Uh, okay. press, uh, press 1 on the picture. Press 1 on the icon and it's going to show you exactly uh, the um, uh, how many of them you have. Oh, I didn't know that was that. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Ending the turn, we now go to a new round with uh, Ignis bleeding to his death. Let's roll a d20 and let's see if he is good. He has a good roll. Ending the turn, we go to Zebra. Zebra, the enemy has one life remaining. Blast. Eldritch Blast. You roll an Eldritch yes. Blast ending the turn. And wait, wait, I'm going to use my hero point. <laughs> <laughs> so no, that way, so that way, you know for sure is blasted. So yeah, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna end here the uh, session, guys, and the stream okay. for now. You guys won the fight; is amazing. Uh, we're gonna take uh, our time to um, heal up uh, Ignis after the fight because we got a few rounds to uh, see if he is gonna be alive or not. Oh yeah, Zebra, can you move towards me? And, uh, <laughs> that's the uh, that's the end for now. Let's stop the. Uh,